Hey everybody, it's Matt here and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Level and in this episode I'm going to teach you how you can play Japanese Super Nintendo games on your US Super Nintendo and vice versa. So let's actually get to it right now. Actually, before we do that, I want to talk to you about PAL games. So yes, earlier I talked about NTSC games, specifically Japanese and English, and I said nothing of PAL games, because while everything I'm about to tell you will actually work with PAL games, the thing is, and this is not a Nintendo thing, this is just how games were created back in the day, when it comes to PAL games, they actually run at 50 hertz, not 60 hertz. Meaning, if you play them and do all things I'm about to tell you to actually play them on NTSC consoles, yes, they will run, and yes, my phone ring for some reason but what is important here i have to pause thank you toll free caller fantastic but back to what i was saying so yes pal games will run but they will be faster i don't know if the inverse is true where if ntsc games on a pal console will run slower but because ntsc games run at 60 hertz rather than 50 hertz the games will be sped up and you just don't really want to play them that way but either way barring any more phone calls let's move on with the tutorial so the reason why your Super Nintendo games don't work on a console from another region is because of the fact that the cartridges are shaped differently. Yes, it's literally just that. So what that means is, is that you can do one of two methods. The first one, which I do not recommend, I prefer keeping my Super Nintendo stock. I've had it for 25 years. I've grown up with it basically, I got it on my fifth birthday and I will not do this method. But if you want to for some reason, or to see if your Super Nintendo already has had this done to it, if you bought it online, there are actually tabs on the inside of the Super Nintendo that you could rip out, again, if you're a monster. Uh, no judgment here. And if you rip these out, you can basically put a cartridge from any region into your Super Nintendo. So again, I am not doing this, but you can. Now the second method, which is one I definitely prefer, is getting a GameBit screwdriver and opening up both cartridges and just switching the boards. Now if you don't have a GameBit screwdriver, then don't worry because they are super, and I mean super cheap online. And I would highly recommend getting one if you're trying to buy expensive games at cons or you're even getting them online. And I would highly suggest if you get them online, you see the board before getting them. But if you don't and you have it come in, open that thing up to make sure that it is legit. But as you can see, after doing that, I'm going to pop the game right in here, turn it on and look at that. It works. Again, it is literally just that easy. There's literally nothing special about this outside of the shape of the cartridge. How funny is that? But either way, let's get back to me in front of the shelf. And as you can see, it wasn't that difficult. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you don't like the video, as always, you can still like and subscribe either way. I won't judge you for it. So either way, though, love you all. Take care. And I hope you tune in next time. So I'll show you.